In this portion of our series on how to use a security camera system over a network, we are going to demo how to initialize a camera. Please note that devices with firmware that is newer than 2018 will have security measures in place to where they require initialization before they can even be accessed. So on our network we have our NVR configured with a proper IP address. To learn how to do that you can check out our previous step on setting the NVR's IP address and then testing that IP address. So now to get to the camera information and keep in mind you're going to want to initialize one camera at a time and connect and change the camera one at a time. If you have more than one camera at a time on your network with the same default IP address you're going to run into a lot of issues. So again one camera at a time. So here we do have one camera. It's been uninitialized. So first we're going to click on the camera under the setting area. This brings us to the camera registration screen. This is right where we want to be. Now to search our network for cameras, we're going to hit the device search button. Might take a second for that to populate. Here you can see an icon. It shows a little camera with a X and it's white. That means the NVR has sensed that this camera is not initialized. And as you can see, it does have the default address of 192.168.1.108. So here we're going to click this button. And to initialize this, we're going to go up here to the right and click the Initialize button. Otherwise, you can also click on this icon here. And notice how it does say, Please Initialize first. That's actually the Modify IP button. So we can't do that until we initialize the camera. So we're going to click it. We're going to initialize it. It says to use current device password and email info. Now, this is referring to the NVR's password and email info. And it will automatically populate this information for your IP camera when you initialize it through the NVR. Now keep in mind all of these devices are on the same network. We'll also make a video showing that it is possible to do it when your NVR and router are on a different IP address than the default IP address of the camera. But just for the sake of this video we're going to click Next. And here's where we can modify the IP address. So we know that we have an open IP address at 81. You're going to want to make sure that this IP address does not conflict with any other devices. And then when you go to initialize other cameras, you'll also want to make sure that you, you do this in an incremental way to where you don't have any cameras having the same IP address. Again, that's going to cause a lot of issues when you finally get down to recording. So as we've already changed this from 108 to 81, we're going to click next. It's going to take a second to initialize and change the IP address. Here you can check on the results by clicking on the status bar and moving it to the right. Not too far. And then we can see initialize was succeeded and the modify IP succeeded as well. Now to finish this out we're going to click finish at the bottom right. And as you can see, we don't even have to automatically device search again. We can just see that the IP address was set on the camera. The status has now changed to this green camera icon. And finally, to add the camera for recording, we can click the Add button here. It'll just take a second to connect up to that camera. And now we've logged into the camera, and we are actually recording and viewing this camera live. Hopefully this video helps you get up and running with your new IP camera system. Thank you for watching.